Hey everyone, Jason Camps here for C-Square Greasing, and we've got, uh, I think, an interesting video for you guys uh, this time around. Um, a hint is that uh, I'm wearing my fire suit. No, I'm, I'm not getting ready to, to head to the track and go racing. Uh, I'm wearing this because today I want to talk about the materials that suits like this are made out of. Uh, the primary fire safety uh, material that you see uh, and hear about uh, in regards to racing is Nomex. There are some uh, other types of materials out there, but Nomex is the standard. Uh, and in order to uh, be certified for motorsports use, it has to go through a specific testing uh, from one of the uh, recognized authorities, either SFI or, or FIA. And uh, it, that's it's very important. And a lot of people may not understand they may not know the difference between fire resistant, fireproof, um, what these what these suits are, and, and what they can do, and what they're for. Uh, it may seem like common sense, uh, but they are they're not fireproof. Uh, they uh, if you put enough heat uh, for enough time uh, on a suit like this, uh, it will just melt away, uh, and that has happened in cases where drivers have been have been stuck in cars. So. Uh, it's important that we wear uh, good quality suits that have gone through the proper testing, multiple layers. Uh, underneath a suit like this, I would wear a base layer, and, and we'll talk about that more in this video. Um, but mainly I want to focus on the materials that these suits are made out of and the difference between them. A lot of the clothes that we wear today are either cotton or polyester, um, which is very uh, much different from, uh, from Nomex. Uh, synthetic materials like polyester, if they get too hot, will, will start to melt, and they can actually melt to your skin. So it's very important if you're uh, potentially going to be in a, in a fire environment, you don't want to wear something like that. Uh, you definitely want to wear something that will protect your skin uh, and, and not have something melt to it. So cotton is a little bit better, um, but ultimately you want to be wearing something that's uh, um, something that's more like a Nomex type material if you're going to be uh, in that environment. Um, as many of you may not know, um, besides driving and running the team, I also work sometimes at Indianapolis Motor Speedway as one of their track safety folks, um, working on pit road as a, as a fireman for, uh, uh, for whichever team happens to be in, in, in that pit stall. So uh, we have to wear the same type of equipment um, when we're doing that job. Uh, very, very similar, uh, almost the same type of suit really that I wear when I drive. So uh, it's very important. Um, to be to be safe and wear the, the proper gear uh, and it's more than just a suit it's gloves shoes it's it's what you wear on your head <clears throat> things like that and, and we'll show you some of that stuff later on but uh, the majority of this video is going to be going through and doing a test to show you what's the difference between uh, Nomex and polyester we have some polyester available uh, and, and what happens when it gets uh, put into contact with uh, extreme temperatures we're not going to go through the SFI test. Um, I will provide a link to, to those test requirements if you're interested. And there are some videos out there of, of people doing uh, that testing. Uh, there's a, uh, I'll put a link in there to, to one of those videos as well so you can kind of see something that's maybe a little bit more scientific than what we're going to do today. But I just want to give you a rough idea. So we're going to take some fibers, some Nomex fibers that have been SFI certified. And then we're also going to take some thread uh, that's made out of polyester. And we're just going to take it just a few threads and we're going to put a, a high heat source to it. We're just going to use a home um, uh, lighter, uh, like a cigarette lighter, uh, just enough to concentrate some heat on the threads. Um, and you're going to see pretty distinct differences between, between the materials. You're going to see uh, that the polyester really doesn't hold up at all to the heat where the Nomax puts up much more of a fight. And you can imagine that when you make an entire garment, out of that type of material, uh, uh, you know, like this, uh, that it's going to provide you additional protection that uh, you know a regular uh, uh, synthetic or cotton T-shirt just uh, will not. Uh, so, um, so with that, we'll we'll get to the video. Uh, we actually shot this earlier, uh, showing you the testing. Uh, we'll show you our setup. We'll show you the test, and uh, and then we'll come back at the end of it and uh, and wrap it all up. So uh, enjoy the uh, enjoy the footage. So here's our setup that we're going to use today. I've got a platform that's wrapped in tin foil, and that's just to keep uh, any uh, anything that, that burns and falls to the ground from, from catching fire. Um, and then I've got some craft sticks that we have glued electrical uh, alligator clips to, and that is what's going to hold the thread. We have two types of thread that we're going to be testing initially. This one here is 
garden variety polyester. And this one right here is your SFI certified Nomex. And to help with the video, uh, I am going to be placing this piece of uh, uh, cooking parchment between them. That is not paper. It's not going to catch fire. Um, but uh, that'll just help the camera focus. See how much better that is? So that'll just help us uh, shoot the video a little bit. But uh, that's going to be our setup. And I also have some acrylic thread uh, that I might do a test with as well. So we have three types of thread that we're going to test. We've got polyester, acrylic, and Nomex. Uh, we're doing this outside. Uh, this is not a big deal. I did test on this uh, in my basement. Um, we're just using a small flame, but just for the sake of being safe, um, we're going to be outside and uh, we're making sure that uh, there isn't anything too flammable. These craft sticks are made of wood, um, but uh, I'm not too worried. Like I said, if anything does catch fire, everything else here is non flammable. Um, and uh, we will grab a fire extinguisher and have it by just in case. For the test, we're just going to be using a, a standard Bic lighter. Uh, the SFI regulations uh, use something a little bit more scientific than this. I will actually post a link, uh, if anyone's interested in reading it, the SFI requirements for driver suits. Um, I'm, I'm going to grab that because it's about to blow away. It's a little windy outside. Uh, they'll, they'll do testing on fabrics with, with Bunsen burners at a specific temperature and all that. Um, we're just going to use a, a standard Bic layer. This is not a scientific test. We're just trying to give a demonstration of how these fabrics uh, react differently. We know that uh, because we're just using because we're just using very small threads, that uh, there, there's no heat dissipation on these. So if I was to put these directly in a flame, they would they would burn up. Uh, you wouldn't really be able to see much of the difference. Uh, there's just a few threads. That's not how they're designed to work. That's not how they're tested. Um, the thread requirement for the SFI rating is uh, about 500 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, but uh, you know we're just gonna we just need it to be hot enough to to start to show. At what point it does start to uh, burn away, you're gonna see that the polyester fibers burn much much quicker than the the Nomex fibers do. Um, so we're gonna hold the flame at a specific height. Um, we're basically gonna get the flame. And, Move this out of the way that it's not working in the wind. Um, we're going to get the flame uh, essentially to uh, this point right here, just about the top of where the craft stick is and where the metal uh, clip starts. We're going to hold the tip of the flame right about at that point, uh, and I think there you'll you'll definitely see a difference in performance between the polyester and the the Nomex. Um, I don't have any cotton thread. I did want to do a test with cotton. Uh, for anyone who's wondering why I'm not doing cotton, uh, cotton would perform better than polyester, but I actually don't have any. Every th all the thread we have in the house is uh, either polyester or Nomex. Um, so, and the acrylic that I found was literally just a loose thread off of, uh, off of a particular uh, shirt that I was wearing that I thought I'd make use of. So uh, that's what we have today. Uh, that's what we're going to test. Um, but yeah, this will not be scientific. Um, I already know that. I already know that uh, that this is not the right way to test these things. We're just trying to give you everybody, just trying to give you an idea of uh, of how they react differently, and, and to show you that Nomex does uh, resist heat a little bit more than than your polyester uh, clothing that you might wear on an everyday basis would. Okay, so this is the test of the polyester fibers. Uh, I've set up a little bit of a, a wind block here. Um, I want to be outside just in case. A burning ember flies someplace. Uh, I don't want it to land on a carpet or furniture or anything like that, but uh, that doesn't mean that I have to put up with the wind. So uh, we put up a bit of a wind block, and uh, and I've got my parchment here for focus. So we're going to go ahead and, and try and light this. And as I said, we're going to try and put the tip of the flame uh, right to about the top of this uh, craft stick here is what we're going to aim for. So I'm going to keep it lower than that, and then we're going to raise it slowly uh, until I get to that point, and then we're going to see what that fiber does. And I'm not even there, and it's already expiring. Uh, yeah, I didn't even get there. Uh, even with the flame all the way down here, you can see it uh, It still went pretty quick. This is the test of the Nomex fiber. So a very short piece. This was uh, some scraps left over after I 
had to do some work on my fire suit. This is the height that I want to do the test at, and it's starting to smoke the fiber at this height. Uh, it's difficult to see, but it's just starting to smoke. Now, when I was down about here is where the other fiber started to uh, uh, completely fail. So we're, we're up about here, and it is still lasting just fine. Oh, I'm bumping it. We're going to go up a little bit higher, just to where we can see something starting to happen. Getting a little bit of a wind here. Let's uh, hold off till I can get the the wind to die down a bit. But you can already see that the, it's it's well outperformed the the polyester. The polyester immediately just uh, evaporated. We saw a little bit of smoke when I had it at the test height. We're gonna bring it up just a little bit higher, and there we go. That's where it starts to go. And even there, do you notice the difference? It got hot. It smoked. It got red, but it didn't fail. Um, it's still held, held together, where the polyester you saw just uh, disappeared into, into nothing. So, uh, And that's what its job is supposed to do. Its, its job is to resist and, and dissipate heat, so and that's exactly what it did. Uh, and this fiber, it, with a much, much closer flame, uh, is still intact. It's still, if we, if we tug on it, it's still holding. Uh, it did not burn through. Now, if I got even closer, it eventually would burn through. Um, it's, uh, it is just a, a few fibers, <clears throat> a few threads, um, but you can definitely see the difference between, between the polyester and, and the Nomex. And, and that's why uh, when you're doing things like uh, driving a race car, you definitely do not want to be uh, wearing synthetic fabrics. You want to be wearing stuff like this. Um, that's, the, uh, that's the difference. I know some of you are going to say I didn't uh, hold the flame on there like I should have. Um, we'll, we'll go ahead and do that. We'll let you. We'll put it on there. We'll keep it. We'll keep it persistent. This is about where it was. There's a little bit of wind. That's. Uh, let's hold off. Let that wind die down a little bit. It is amazing. Even with uh, with this completely surrounded, uh, the air blowing over the top is still causing havoc. We've got this flame is pretty close. Let me raise the camera. There it goes. All right, I'm going to hold it here. It is eventually, and see it is burning away a little bit. And we could certainly make it fail. But that's, there we go. But that's impressive. I mean, I'm about got it in the flame. There we go. You can see the difference there between the, uh, between the synthetic and this. It, it really doesn't want to burn. It's it's putting up a fight. So that's the difference. Uh, you know, SFI materials will not last forever. They, you can't stand in a fire for 10 minutes wearing uh, wearing Nomex, but uh, it, it will protect you for that matter of seconds that you need to get out of a burning race car, uh, uh, you know, or a situation like that. So that's what it's meant to do. Uh, there are other fabrics. There are other fabrics that are designed to last longer than Nomex, and uh, one of them, and it's what we wear underneath our fire suit, is a material material called Carbon X. Uh, I will put a link in the description below uh, to some videos uh, where you'll see Carbon X versus cotton and, and synthetics uh, and Nomex uh, and some other materials, uh, and, and you'll see how it performs differently and, and how much more robust it is. Uh, that's what we wear, but uh, uh, you know, Nomex is sort of the standard and uh, it, uh, it definitely makes a difference. Uh, you definitely would rather be wearing that than, uh, than cotton or polyester, uh, I think, as you can see. So, uh, But just to drive the point home, we're going to do some acrylic. So this here is uh, acrylic. And we're going to light this up, too, and see what this does. Again, we're going to start low. I'm going to get in frame as the wind blows. I don't know if you can hear the wind in the camera. It's it's blowing around quite a bit. We've got a nice warm day here, uh, but with uh, warm days often comes wind. Come on. There we go. All right, so we're going to... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, the acrylic didn't uh, do so well. Um, 
I think you can see the difference. So now that we've showed you why there's a difference between uh, the clothes that you wear every day and the stuff that we wear when we race and, uh, uh, you know, and the clothing that the uh, track rescue people wear and the pit crews wear, uh, I want to show you just uh, some examples of some of the items that, that we actually wear. Uh, what we have right here is uh, a suit from uh, a friend of mine from his Grand Am days. Uh, this is a, uh, you know, a, a, a full driver's suit. Uh, he actually was a member of the crew, but it's the same stuff. One thing I want to point out with this is that uh, you'll see with the SFI stuff, there'll be a patch. Um, this is actually uh, an FIA rating. Uh, so that is also just as good. Uh, most series will accept either FIA or, or SFI. Uh, you do have to make sure that um, using the correct standard and that things aren't out of date, things do expire. Um, but uh, you'll see that uh, uh, other things will have an SFI tag. And here's an example of an SFI tag. This is a small one uh, on a pair of socks. Uh, on driver suits, a lot of times you'll see a patch on the arm. Um, but that's what you're looking for there, and, and that's what uh, inspectors will look for. Uh, so all of these items, this is a, a head sock, and you'll see there. And then you've also got the date of manufacture tag. This is what they'll look at to make sure that the item is still uh, good to be used and not expired. So, um, but what we'll wear is uh, everyone sees the suit. That's, which, uh, that's the part that's on the outside, but there's a lot more than just that. These are what we call a base layer. It's a euphemism for underwear um, this is a top it's a long sleeve shirt it's actually very comfortable uh, it's no different than what you would uh, uh, just wear every day uh, it's not any heavier stiffer or anything like that uh, this is made by carbon x we mentioned them during the test this is some of their material um, and uh, this is a pair of long johns uh, that we wear and that this would all go underneath the fire suit and then uh, the socks as well uh, we would wear these, and the shoes uh, have to be SFI rated as well. So the shoes themselves will also be made in Nomex. So in a lot of cases, we have multiple layers. Our helmet will provide us some protection, but underneath the helmet, we'll also wear one of these. This is a head sock. Uh, technical term is a balaclava, uh, and this will give us an extra layer of protection uh, for our head. And also, this comes down a lot lower than the helmet, and so this will tuck into the neck of the fire suit. And, and make sure that uh, flames in the car aren't uh, getting in the gaps between clothing. So the you know the gap between the, the neck and the helmet, uh, uh, this will this will cover that up to keep any fire from getting in uh, on that part of your body as well. So uh, all of these things uh, like I said, add onto this uh, shoes and uh, and a helmet uh, and gloves. Uh, let me show you some gloves. So here are the gloves that I wear when I'm driving. And, and again, these are deceptively uh, thin, and people think uh, you see firemen walking around with their with their gear on. You think the fire protectant uh, materials have to be uh, very big and bulky and have lots of layers. Um, they've gotten the materials really, really quite thin. Um, you can see here. Uh, here's the SFI tag. It's kind of folded over, uh, but that is there. Um, these are not thick gloves. Um, they're very 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 thin as you can see right there and they're very comfortable to wear um, you want to have good feel uh, of, of the steering wheel when you're driving so uh, they don't want to have a lot of material between uh, you know your hands and, and the wheel so um, they're very very thin same with these. these these are not it's hard to show you on screen but this is this is not a thick fabric this is very very thin um, same with the rest of the stuff these these suits even though this, this looks bulky um, it really it really isn't, uh, it's really hard to show you, uh, obviously on video, how thick something is, but it's not. I mean, when, when uh, you wear a suit like that, it's, it's actually quite comfortable. Um, karting suits, if you've ever gone go-karting, they don't have the fire protection usually, uh, but they are meant to protect you if you are thrown from the cart. So they'll tend to have a, a heavier, thicker shell on them uh, because they're try to protect you not from fire but from the uh, the road surface itself uh, so those will be a lot heavier and bulkier uh, when I moved from karting suits to driver suits I was surprised uh, how much more comfortable and, and uh, how much thinner the material got um, but that's uh, that's just uh, some of the things that you'll wear to protect you uh, if uh, you're in a race car and you don't want to burn to death
Um, this, uh, this stuff will save your life, and it's not that expensive. Uh, suits can be anywhere from $100 to $2,000, depending on, on you know the quality that you want and how customized you want it to be. But for someone starting out in racing, you can get a suit for $100. I think my first fire suit was about $300. Uh, that's, they're not that bad for what they do. Um, the base materials, you can get a full base layer for $250, $300. And I know that may seem like a lot for, uh, for underwear, uh, but you're going to, you're going to rewear it. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's going to last you a while and it's going to keep you alive. And you'd never want to be sitting in a burn ward in the hospital wishing that, uh, you know, I, I'd spent the extra money. Um, it's, it's a lot cheaper than a hospital visit if something ever happens. Uh, I, I talked to one driver one time who was in a fire and couldn't get out of his car. His fire suit completely burned away. It was gone. No, nothing left. The only thing that was left was his base layer. Uh, and he was wearing Carbon X. And, and that's what saved his life. So it's a small price to pay. Uh, and then the gloves, you can get gloves between $100 and $200. These are the same gloves that you will see. A lot of uh, NASCAR Cup drivers, Formula One drivers, uh, these Alpine Stars 1ZX are, are excellent gloves. Um, they're, they're my favorite pair. Uh, and, and even these, I think I paid about 200 bucks for. That, that's not bad uh, for something that you're going to have, um, you know, for more than one season. So, um, you know, to, to get into serious door-to-door -door road racing, yes, you are going to be dropping a bit of money on protective gear. But I think as we showed you today with some of those tests, it's worth it. it. It will absolutely make a difference if you come into contact with high heat. Uh, you know, 500 degrees uh, Fahrenheit is the temperature that they test for. Um, uh, you don't you don't want to be uh, in that temperature without some kind of protection on if something ever happens. So you, you hope nothing happens, but you always have to be prepared for it if it does. So this is uh, this has been our little video on fire safety and, and fire safety gear and uh, why Nomex is uh, better than polyester. So. Hope you uh, hope that you enjoyed that demonstration. All right, everyone. So that was our our Nomex testing video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something about it. Um, hope that we can do more stuff like this. Uh, it would have been nice to have full fabric. Uh, if anybody out there wants to uh, uh, donate some materials, uh, we'd be happy to to test things uh, here. And um, but uh, but there's plenty of people online that have done it already. So if you really want to see what this stuff does, um, you know, in, in as full suits or as uh, any other type of uh, articles, uh, there's there's stuff out there. So, so we'll you know check out the links below uh, in the video, and you can see some of that information. But but hopefully now you have a better understanding of of how Nomex uh, protects you uh, um, uh, better than uh, typical uh, consumer clothing. So uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you had a good time. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. Uh, we're gonna be posting a bit about a, once a week. Uh, I think is what we're aiming for. Uh, maybe more often on special occasions if uh, things happen as things come up during the season. Uh, so keep uh, checking back in with us uh, for the latest content. And uh, be sure to follow us on our other social media sites. Facebook, Instagram, uh, and Twitter are uh, the best ways to kind of keep up with uh, everything that C-Squared Racing is doing. Um, so hopefully we see you around. Uh, let us know how you're doing. Let us know how you like the videos. And uh, um, I guess... Uh, that's it, and we'll catch you on the next lap. See you then. Bye-bye.